Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for the upcoming week of January 15 to 19 on The Young and the Restless indicate that Claire Grace will have an opportunity to move on from her confrontation with Jordan. Will Claire be able to accept Victoria Newman and Cole Howard's love into her heart once she has at last found closure? After a challenging relapse, Nikki Newman will attempt to get her act together while Claire makes decisions about her future. Nikki may find that Seth is a huge assistance on her difficult journey back to sobriety. Despite his best efforts, Daniel Romolotti Jr. will send Heather Stevens conflicting messages. Although Daniel made an effort to set some limits out of consideration for his relationship with Lully Winters, he will continue to become closer to Heather. Afterwards, with the animosity between Christine Bell and Phyllis Summers at an all-time high, Danny Romolotti could have to act as a mediator once more. Naturally, Phyllis might find herself drawn toward Tucker McCall more and more. He'll undoubtedly be searching for someone to cling to, especially after Audra Charles ejected him. Tucker may be much worse now that his backup love interest won't even interact with him. He was already behaving like a lovesick dog half the time for Ashley Abbott. Tucker might become more engaged in anything Phyllis has to offer if Audra isn't there to divert him. Tucker might also assist Phyllis in coming to terms with Danny's preference for Christine over her. Because of their fascinating and passionate personalities, Phyllis and Tucker have a lot of potential for a romantic relationship. Stay tuned for more information on this risky pairing. Devon Hamilton Winters and Nate Hastings will work hard to maintain harmony at Chancellor Winters in the interim, but it will take a lot of work on both ends. For what length of time can Devon and Nate maintain their new company arrangement? If Abby Newman Abbott can obtain what she wants, she will also involve herself in the corporate action, since she has her sights set on Chancellor Winter's board position. According to Y and R spoilers, Chance Chancellor will need to decide what he wants from his life partner. It's obvious that Summer Newman has feelings for him, so would Chance be open to the notion of being matched with her? Eventually, after brushing Tucker and Kyle Abbott aside, Audra might have also done some introspection. It's intriguing that the program is excluding the men in Audra's life given that Noah Newman will shortly return to Geno City. Will that make it possible for Audra and Noah to get back in touch? The Young and the Restless spoilers predict the week of January 15 to 19 will offer some twists and turns, so remain with us for news on all the GC drama. According to previews for The Young and the Restless, Victoria Newman is currently focusing on her relationship with Claire Grace rather than her career or other relationships. Victoria appears to be taking a vacation from romantic endeavors as well, having just taken a leave of absence from Newman Enterprises to focus on Claire. It goes without saying that Victoria and Cole Howard have been getting back in touch lately. As they work to assist Claire in recovering from all of her trauma, Cole and Victoria are becoming closer once more. Victoria and Cole might end up getting back together romantically as a result, but it doesn't guarantee it will. Many Y and R fans have been wondering if Victoria and Nate Hustings can still work things out as a pair since their relationship ended so abruptly. When Victoria turned against him at his last Newman meeting, Nate felt deceived, but at least she tried to explain why Nate was doing it. Victoria thinks Nate is a wonderful man who was trying to do the right thing by Victor Newman, even if he was tricked by Victor's false medical emergency and fired for attempting to send Victor away. It's good to know that there is no longer any hostility in the way because Nate has been demonstrating his soft side by assisting Nikki Newman. After Victoria brought Nate up to date, he even offered counsel regarding Claire in the episode that aired on January 11. Victoria began to question whether they had really ruined their relationship as a result. Although Nate pretended that Victoria's allegiance to her family would always be a problem, it was clear that the two of them still had a close relationship. Nate advised them to remain friends, but it's easy to see how it may develop into more. Can Victoria and Nate truly resist temptation indefinitely? 
they still have a close relationship and a lot of chemistry. Nate and Victoria may eventually decide they're not over each other. In any case, it would be intriguing to observe how Victoria and Nate's relationship would develop if they were not affiliated with Newman Enterprises. Given that Nate and Victoria are now adjusting to significant life changes, this may be a chance for them to develop and learn fresh perspectives on one another. Perhaps this is one of those circumstances where Victoria and Nate's relationship has a chance to recover. Although Nate would never ask Victoria to leave her family, he doesn't believe he can stand it when she always sides with them. Given how much respect they still have for one another, maybe Victoria and Nate can work out a compromise eventually. Follow along for updates on what's coming up for Victoria and Nate as they may decide to rekindle their romance in the future. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless indicate that Victoria is bound to get unexpected news. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless indicate that Sally Spectra is gradually allowing herself to fall back in love with Adam Newman, but she isn't completely over Nick Newman just yet. Sally might start to lean back toward Nick, especially now that he and Adam are genuinely getting along. Why and our fans are seeing progress in their brotherly friendship as Adam and Nick accomplished a Newman miracle by working together. As Nick and Adam's relationship improves, there's a greater chance that a shocking event may occur and ruin everything. This brings up the possibility of the reunion between Nick and Sharon Rosales that the show has been teasing. When Nick begins to grow closer to Sharon once more, will Sally become envious again? If this is the case, there's a possibility that Nick and Sally will share a bed once more. It would serve as a massive reminder of all the times Sharon had been harmed by Nick in the past, making it clear why she didn't want to travel down this path again. Sharon might put the brakes on as she even slightly fears that Nick would end up in someone else's bed. Alarm bells may go off if Sharon notices even the slightest hint that Sally and Nick are getting back together. Sharon doesn't want to risk losing her heart by putting it on the line. It's been more than adequately broken by Nick, so Sharon will understandably want to go cautiously. If Sharon senses that Sally and Nick aren't truly over one another, there may be cause for concern. Regardless of the veracity of the claim, Sharon might get obsessed with it, which would ruin Nick's chance to have a second chance at a chic relationship. Stay watching for more on whether Nick still has a future with Sharon. He may need to put in some work if he wants to make things right. According to spoilers on The Young and the Restless, a potential reunion between Sharon and Nick can result in some unpleasant surprises and news. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.